Thanks for coming early. The last guy was late. So, how's your day going? My day's going great. Better now. Hmm. Um, I saw in your profile you're a cop, right? I am. Ten years strong now. Hmm. How do you like it? Actually, I love it. I love protecting people when they need protection the most. I can see that as being really fulfilling. May I ask you a question? Sure, I'm an open book. How does it feel working for an organization that's known for killing off innocent black lives? Whoa, you don't hold any punches, do you? Nope, it's not something I'm known for. But if the question makes you feel uncomfortable, then I can ask something else. No, it's fine. Actually, I think that the media makes us boys in blue look worse than we really are. And those innocent lives being taken are not so innocent. So, um, what about Sandra Bland? We don't really know what happened with that one. Really? Um, Eric Gardner? If you know you have asthma, don't resist arrest. And that boy was big. So it took several cops to take him down. Mike Brown. That boy was big too. Tamir Rice. What is a little boy doing playing with a toy gun? What are you talking about, Kelby? What do you want a little boy to be playing with? Jordan, what you fail to understand is that when your life is on the line, and you feel that someone's a threat, you do what you gotta do to protect yourself. No, Kelby, what you don't seem to understand is that if you are that damn scared, your ass should not be a fucking police officer. And what the hell is so scary about black people anyway? We're humans too. You should know that. Or has the blue you run around here wearing made you forget that your skin is in fact black? And how is it that a white man can commit a mass murder and still be arrested and read his Miranda rights, but a black man is shot dead simply for asking why he's being stopped? What kind of sense does that make? You're never going to understand. You're right, Kelvin. I'll never understand.